Hey there hunters, Lord here, back with another Sunbreak set video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over an insanely strong elemental charge blade setup that's sure to shred through any monster that you come up against in your hunts. I've been using this a ton in multiplayer lately, and it absolutely melts. This set requires no curious augments and a very easy to obtain charm. This way you guys can make it with no hassle, and then customize it and upgrade it to your own personal liking. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Don't forget guys, if you do find yourself enjoying the video or the set, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're not already. I've been doing tons of open lobby sunbreak streams lately, and so if that's something you're interested in, be sure to turn on your notifications so that way you can join in the hunts. Now this set will work with any elemental charge blade. I'm even going to show it off using the Narwa charge blade, which has no slots aside from its rampage slot. Now as far as what charge blade to use for what element, there's a lot of good options so you can use what you like, but here's a list of what I personally use just to give you an idea of some good charge blades to start out with. You're going to slot in either your anti-species deco of choice or an elembane deco. This is going to depend on your rampage slot level in your weapon and the matchup of monster you're going against. The augments are one attack and then the maximum amount of element up. This helps us maximize our element, and since we're really dependent on that by using element files, this is kind of a big deal. Now for the armor, the head, chest, waist, and legs are all chaotic Gormagala armor, as it's super, super strong for our elemental setups. In the helm, you're going to slot a hard element deco plus and a critical jewel. In the chest, you're going to slot in an iron wall plus and an element jewel. Now for the arms, I really like Risen Kushala, as I love wind mantle as a skill, especially with how much you use your silk binds and charge blade, the extra 10% recovery speed is really strong here. You're going to slot in a magazine plus and tenderizer jewels here. Now in the waist, you'll fit another iron wall plus, a brace, and then any level one deco you prefer. Then finally in the legs, you're going to fit just an element exploit jewel. For your talisman, all that you need is weakness exploit two with a single level two slot. You're going to fit this in with a final level of element exploit. With the newest charm melding, I'm sure you guys all have at least this or better, so should be pretty easy for you to get. So now that your armor and decorations are all set up, you should have to start crit I6, element attack 5, guard 4, then crit boost, weakness exploit, coalescence, element exploit, and strife all at level 3, followed by resentment, load shells, and burst at level 2, then flinch free, bloodlust, berserk, wind mantle, and then your level 1 deco of choice all at level 1. Now since this is a no augment set, here are my recommendations for skills that you can add to improve this set even further, whether that be with your augments, or if you get better slots, or if you pick a weapon that has really good slots, these are some things to look out for. Now first and foremost, I would definitely prioritize either Rapid Morph 3 or Wirebug Whisper 3. Rapid Morph 3 is a good damage boost and really speeds up your combos, I would definitely recommend this. And then Wirebug Whisper 3 will really increase the speed up of your Wirebug recovery, so that way you can keep spamming counter peak performance. You could also look to increase Resentment to levels 3 to 5, getting an attack boost levels 4 to 7, get your Guard up to level 5 or your Burst up to level 3. If you're running Ice or Fire, you could try to slot in Kushala or Tiastra Blessing. And then finally, I would say maybe Crit Element, but that only applies to your melee hits as files cannot crit, so I wouldn't prioritize that over any of the other skills on this list. Of course, slots are always great when augmenting, as it gives you the freedom to choose what skills go in what slot, so I always recommend keeping good slots on your curious rolls. Now, if you're watching this video and you're new to Charge Blade and you're wanting to try it out, I've made some videos on guard pointing and using counter peak performance that you should check out. They're really great skills to learn to use properly and will help you get better at Charge Blade very quickly. I'll leave links to those in the top right now and of course down in the description of this video. So that's going to do it for this one guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below as it's a totally free way to support the channel and the content that I create. If you're new here or if you find yourself coming back to my videos often, be sure to subscribe for more Monster Hunter content. You can always change your mind later if you decide it's just not for you. With all that said guys, I hope you all have a great day and happy hunting.